Lord help me. I swear he'd lose his head if it wasn't screwed on so damn tight. Now what's... what the... Um, okay. Yes, hello? My name is Will. Now, hold on. Let me finish. Okay, now. My name is Adam Aziz. I'm out here in Broxton and... Yes, Oklahoma. And, well, you better get out here, I reckon. Imagine a big huge hammer lands somewhere near your hometown. A hammer that has the power to kill godlike beings, summon the power of thunder, and even transport you into Fortnite events. And when you walk up to this hammer that you know can only be lifted if you're worthy, you find that approaching this hammer, setting your hands on it, grasping it tightly, and lifting it, you are able to summon the power of Thor. Well. This happened to a random auto body shop owner named Adam Aziz, so let's talk about it. Well, first off, it involves some craziness with Thor obliterating Galactus, but in a long story short, Thor's hammer Mjolnir has lost its worthiness enchantment. In this happening, all the way in Asgard, Thor feels like experimenting with Mjolnir, thus he throws the hammer into Broxton, Oklahoma for anyone to pick up. Meanwhile, an old man working on a beat up truck feels the impact of the hammer after the hood of the truck falls on his head, where the man would then look to his right to see a massive shockwave. Hopping into a truck of his, the old man would drive to the impact zone to find the hammer of Thor sitting in the crater. And upon inspecting the hammer, he finds something engraved, leading him to call a certain someone about the whereabouts of Thor's hammer. Some time passes and the news crews all over Broxton report on the hammer's mysterious landing, until Iron Man himself flies in asking for the man who called by the name Adam Aziz, where Adam begins to fill Iron Man in on how he found the hammer, but Iron Man just wants to know how Adam called him in the first place above all else, to which Adam points to the hammer. And on the hammer lies Tony Stark's personal phone number. And I actually took the time to call the number and it doesn't lead to anything so that's kind of lame your call cannot be completed as dialed however it's incredibly real to tony as he screams to thor that he's a son of a bitch from the top of his lungs while thor watches on from asgard laughing at tony but upon walking through the hall of weapons beta ray bill asks thor where mjolnir is to which thor says there is something wrong with the hammer while back at broxton more people arrive to the site of the hammer to try and pick it up themselves to which the hammer starts to change with adam calling iron man over to check it out as the hammer has now changed the engraving from Tony's number to the phrase pick it up, causing Iron Man to put up a force field around the crater. However, in a moment of curiosity while Iron Man is preoccupied by the crowd, Adam decides to try picking up the hammer himself, where we then see Adam Aziz himself possess the powers of Thor. Immediately after Adam lifts the hammer, reporters go wild until Iron Man messes with all their nearby electronics, causing all of the reporters to clear out or else their channels will broadcast really, really awful Captain America cartoons. Along with this Iron Man also asks Adam Aziz to hand over the hammer as it's not his origin story and Iron Man has a bad rep with dudes holding hammers in Broxton. That is until a crash of thunder strikes Iron Man away from Adam as Thor makes his grand entrance apologizing to Adam for all the trouble he's been put through, telling Adam that he has earned the favor of a god on this day, as Adam pretty much geeks out while Thor asks for his hammer back. But while handing the hammer back to Thor, it's whooshed out of Adam's hands, with Iron Man wielding Thor's hammer yelling to Thor that he isn't getting this hammer back until they both have a little chat. However, Thor has better things to do, refusing to talk and telling Iron Man to just give him his hammer already. But Tony refuses to give Thor back the hammer until he gets answers as to why all of a sudden anyone could just pick up the hammer. But Thor refuses to say anything, saying he doesn't answer to Iron Man as Iron Man seals his helmet, clocking Thor in the face with his very own hammer. But Thor pretty much eats the blow, tilting his head back at Iron Man to make him listen very carefully, as Thor tells Iron Man to not mistake holding his hammer for wielding Thor's power as well, because Thor himself is a god, and Iron Man is a tin man in a lightning storm. And Iron Man, scared for his life and going through PTSD, holds up the hammer and tosses it back to Thor as Iron Man pretty much tells Thor that he had to get at least one hit in on Thor with his own hammer, and that he will keep it a secret that now anyone can lift Thor's hammer. While he flies off telling Thor that he now has video footage of him hitting Thor with his hammer, which will forever top whatever Thor does to mess with Iron Man again. Meanwhile, Adam, sitting on the sidelines, just says that he doesn't really have any 
pressing matters, but he does have one request. Later seeing Adam and Thor soaring the sky together, having too much fun. But the fun would sadly come to an end as Thor would try to guide Adam into a safe landing. However, Adam crashes to the ground like thunder. And while Thor brings Adam to his feet, Adam recalls the time he spent in prison and how he'd pray every night that one day he could one day fly like a bird in the sky. And Thor pretty much made Adam's prayer come true, thanking Thor for a truly crazy day. As Adam then asks how he gets rid of the look he's got, because it isn't really his thing to which Thor tells Adam to strike the ground as hard as he can, reverting back to his regular self, thanking Thor for the wild day again, and also telling Thor to take care of himself. But before leaving, he takes notice that the hammer is sorta of like a machine, and sometimes machines need to be turned off and then turned on again to work properly or hit with a hammer like Adam usually does. As Adam parts ways with Thor, wishing him luck, and to not be a stranger as Thor walks off to his next adventure, ending the story. I hope you guys like the story, and what would you do if you became Thor for a day? Let me know in the comments down below, and as always, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and I'll catch y'all on the flip side.